hands for the dumbbell row. You want the same knee and hand on the bench. Hold the dumbbell. Keep your shoulders level, keep your hips level, and don't round your back at all. And then when you lift the dumbbell row, lift from between your shoulder blades. It's not an arm exercise, this is a back exercise. Just hold, hold for one second and down. Hold for one second and down. Hold for one second and down. I want you to do five of those on each arm and you should be failing. Okay, points of performance for the hammer row. So you're gonna put your elbow just slightly in front of your hip and make sure that it is glued in. And then lift straight up. Make sure that your butt is tight, your belly is tight, and your ribs are tucked down. I want this motion to only come from your bicep. Come on, go to this. And same deal. I want you to be failing at the end. This is the drill for your scaps. So you're gonna lay on the floor in a prone position. Heels come up slightly, shoulders up slightly, and then we're gonna hold for 10 seconds in each of five positions. I, Y, T, squeeze your back together, W, I want you to really feel that between your shoulder blades, and O, hold the weights up off your butt if you can. Okay, so points of performance for the bar hang. First of all, thumbs around the bar and knuckles on top. Start the move from a dead hang. Engage your scap and go into a slightly hollow position. And you're just gonna hang for 15 seconds, rest for 15 seconds, hang for 15 seconds, rest for 15 seconds. Okay, so this is a seated pull up. You're gonna hang onto the bar with your butt just slightly behind the bar. <clears throat> Heels are the only thing that are touching the ground. And your job is to reach up and get your chin over the bar. And I want you to make sure you get that nice squeeze at the top. Hold for one second, and back down. Hold for one second, and back down. You'll do three of these every 30 seconds for five minutes.